We're back now, 744, with a new approach to help kids learn about emotions using robots in the classroom. This is happening at a school in Britain. NBC's Michelle Kaczynski is in London with details on it. Michelle, good morning. Hi, Matt. Yeah, these scientists realize, and quite by accident, that autistic children respond really well to these cute little robots. They teach the children certain skills and help these kids who can have much difficulty communicating come out of their shells. It seems a very human trait to be fascinated beautiful. by robots. Were you on a star cruiser? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, meet this little guy. My name is Now. I can recognize your face, grab objects, and even play soccer like a pro. Mao and Max and Ben are amazing. They stand up by themselves, can tell when you're looking at them, which can be a little spooky. Oh my gosh, it's, it's giving me the weirdest look. <laughs> Memory game. But the most amazing thing about these guys, made by French company Aldebaran, is how they have captured the imaginations. Do you want to play again? Yes! Yes! yes. Of the autistic children, like Colleen, Stephen, and Daniel, at this British school. Touch my right hand. Congratulations. Yes! With the teacher's guidance, the robots teach them to focus, <laughs> converse, imitate, even pick up on the subtleties of human emotion that these kids struggle to identify. Let me give you a clue. It may be joy, surprise, or mockery. Mockery. Okay. What's your guess? Mockery. If they're um, communicating or interacting with a human being, they're trying to deal with several things at once. Words, body language, facial expression, and that can be quite difficult for them. How does the robot make you feel? Happy. Why? Because he, he feels happy too. Olivier Joubert, with a PhD in neuropsychology and a postdoc from MIT, says this idea came by accident at a robotics presentation after a mother became emotional when her autistic son suddenly started exuberantly interacting with one. A first for the boy. You just want to see the kids smiling. The program is backed up by research, but you can easily see its effect. That's the, the joy of it, really, the fact that the, the children who sometimes struggle to interact with, with the teachers and other people, but for some reason they will quite happily interact with the robot. Six-year-old Owen, who started here very insular, saw the robot and immediately asked if he could hold its hand, take it for a walk, stunning his teachers and parents. Owen got his walk with the robot, much to his delight. Well, the appeal of these robots seems to be their simplicity and predictability. But, of course, the goal is to help these children interact better with humans, and that seems to be happening. Some of the kids now have more self-confidence, and two of the kids who were in autistic programs are now completely in mainstream classes. Is there something you wanted to add? I love being on today. Back to you, Matt and Savannah. That's his rhythm. Michelle, thank you very much. So and cool. now, thank you very much. Yeah. We've had a lot of robots on yeah. this show. Right. This is the most yeah. incredible one I've ever seen. It really is. So he can think, speak, feel, feel. hear. He apparently does yoga. I just saw him do a, an incredibly acrobatic move. But did you see when he was doing Gangnam Style before and he started to do the dance do, back and forth? Yeah. The, the yeah. balance yeah. Yeah. that he has. Amazing. He goes to the side, doesn't tip over, and how he can stand up on his own using one hand. I know. I can't do that. It's amazing. <laughs> you could see how it would be. It would really work with kids who have autism because, I mean, to... It, it is just so amazing to see a toy do something like that and, and to be able to connect at that level. Completely focuses your yeah, attention. Absolutely. It's, it's impossible to take your eyes off of when he's moving. Fascinating but not intimidating for those kids. Pretty cool. We, we want see it if for you can Christmas. Do it? We wanted it for Christmas. Yeah. The price points a little bit high. Can you imagine how popular your kids would be? Wow. If oh, you oh my goodness. How popular you the, would yeah, be exactly. if you got it for your kid. All right, well, now, thank we you. We love very you now. We love you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Nat and Savannah. We'll be right back. Ooh, I like the balance. Yeah. I told you yoga. <laughs> That's